Hey, I've just got access to OpenAI's Codex, which is an AI model that writes code. You tell it what you want in the form of a comment, and it writes the code. I want to see if I can replicate the OrcaFlex code I've written on the left-hand side of the screen. Let's start with an example. I want to tell it to use Python 3 and then print out Hello World. And there it does. I can then change the language to Python 2 and it correctly prints out Hello World in Python 2. Let's try an example with a different language, Bash. I want it to copy the files from one directory to another directory. It's interesting that this code has an author. The code must be directly from a tutorial. The Orcaflex code generates a range of directions, TP and HS values, assigns them to an environment, runs the environment, extracts their wave elevation, velocity and acceleration, and finally writes this to a data frame. To prove that Codex knows nothing about Orcaflex, I'm going to try and open an Orcaflex model. As you can see, this is complete garbage, and it's not how you do it. We need to provide Codex with some examples of how to write Orcaflex code, and this is what I've done here. This is basic examples of how to use the API. Now with this knowledge, we can start writing our Orcaflex code. First, we want to import the Orcaflex API module, and now we want to open an Orcaflex file called REOs in the folder 01 runs and hit generate. This has generated a couple too many because we've not put the stop sequence in for another comment. So we're going to try that again and it will just do the one line. Next we want to assign the variable V to the vessel object called new ative and that has produced the correct code even though i had a spelling mistake for variable the next step is create a list of headings from 150 to 165 degrees and that's not actually what we want but it is what i've asked for Okay, so I need to delete that and change for from to for and to to and and we get exactly what we need. I'll now do the HS and TZ in a arrays like this. Finally, we want to create a list of the iterables and that is indeed a list of the iterables. Next up is the points that we want to create and this might be a bit more tricky so we want to create a dictionary of points with the values we want to do three points with the values being a list of x equals 12.8 minus 41.6 y equals 18.0 and z equals 0.0. Okay, not quite what we wanted. Let's try again with the x value increasing by 10 each time. Also, not quite what we wanted. Maybe it's confusing it a little bit with that minus in there. So if we just resolve that, a new cell equals negative 29.06 negative 29.6 mm, we want three points not just the two points named that so and we want it to be increasing the x value by 10 each time okay it's getting there what if we add point 0.1 point 0.2 and point three and click generate yes that's it fantastic that's what we wanted now we can move on to the next task which is create a pandas multi-index 
from the iterables. Yep, that's the same code. And next, create a list of columns for elevation and velocity for each point using list comprehension. Fantastic. That's exactly the code I had. I have forgotten acceleration, but it will create the column in the data frame later on. Now we want to combine the iterables into an iterTools product, which is correct. Although note that I haven't imported iterTools, so this code wouldn't run properly. Next, I want to create a function that assigns wave heights, periods, and headings to the model. As you can see, it's only written the defining line of the function. This is because it stops at the hash stop sequence. So we remove that and we can generate more code. Let's try this again. That didn't work. So I need to actually tell it to assign it to the orcflex model. And that worked. But we had a bit of overrun, so let's delete that. Instead of writing the for loop out in one comment at a time, I want to have multiple steps in one comment to speed up the code generation. Some of these steps will require multiple lines of code. Let's see how Codex performs. Well, that's good. It has created the data frame that I forgot to create. And then it started the for loop, assigned waves, run the simulation, set the object extra, extracted the results, written them to a data frame, and finally printed to a CSV, which I didn't even ask it to do. Let me know what you think of this demonstration. I'm pretty impressed by its capabilities, but I don't think AI will take over our jobs anytime soon. You need to have the expertise to know what to ask it and debug it when it makes mistakes. Thanks for listening.